Hi there all YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart the carburetor on your lawnmower with a Briggs engine with the Pulse Prime carburetor. I've had many, many requests to do this. And it's the carb attached to the fuel tank with the primer. This is a 3.5, but some lawnmowers with bigger engines have the same carburetor. To start with, I'm going to remove the air filter completely. Just simply remove this screw completely from the engine. Then your air breather is going to pop off. Now before we completely remove the fuel tank from the engine, make note of where all the springs and linkages are connected. You can even take a picture with your digital camera so when you go to reassemble it, you're sure of exactly where they go. The next thing to remove is the 3 8 bolt over here and the one in here. A lot of these engines will have a half inch bolt over here instead of a 3 8 and a 7 16 over here instead of a 3 8. After you completely remove this bolt here, you're going to notice that there's a spacer there in between the fuel tank and the engine, so don't lose that. Now just pull back on the fuel tank, it's going to come out of the manifold. Now once it's pulled out from the manifold over here, all you need to remove is the one linkage. So it's going to be fairly easy to put back, you won't have to worry about all the springs and where they go. So now what you have to do is remove this linkage from the throttle control here. All you need to do is to bring it down, move the tank like this and it's going to come out. If you haven't already done so, empty out most of the fuel that's left in your fuel tank. If it's not running right, there could be old fuel in there or even some water inside the fuel tank. Now the next thing we want to do is remove this here so that it's not in the way. You want to remove all these Phillips screws that hold the carburetor to the fuel tank. Now once you've removed all the screws the carburetor may be stuck to the fuel tank and that is just because of the gasket. Don't be afraid just pull it up it's going to separate now if it's stuck on the carb in the fuel tank, just go at it carefully so you don't rip it and then just pull it completely out like that. Now what you want to look for if your engine's not running right once you've got the carb off is for dirt and water inside this pocket here. And as you can see here, there's a bit of dirt in there. This machine was running right, so it's not a big deal, but I'm going to clean it out anyways. You would also want to check to make sure there's no water in this pocket here, all inside here, if there's any water in there or varnishized gas, it's not going to run right. And most importantly, look inside your fuel tank to make sure that everything's clean in there. Now as for the carb itself and the diaphragm, you can gently pull it up to examine it better. Make sure you remember the position of this spring over here. Usually it will stay in there by itself. Now when you look at this diaphragm here, it's still in good condition. It's a bit dirty, I'm going to clean it. But it's not totally stiff that it won't move at all. What's important is these little tabs here which act kind of like a pump. And if they're in bad shape, it's not going to run. You could also look for damaged gasket at the edge here. There's a separate gasket that separates from the actual diaphragm itself. This is what a new diaphragm kit will look like. There's the actual gasket and the diaphragm itself. Now the part number for that Briggs diaphragm is number 495770. You want to make sure that this little screen here is super clean. Even though it looks clean, it could have fuel trapped in it that's been varnishized in there and it could prevent the flow of fuel going through it. Also, you want to make sure that this screen here is clean as well. And sometimes, even though it may look clean, it could be just like the other screen here. It could have varnishized gas in it and prevent the fuel from flowing through it. Now, to double check this screen, you can turn it. It's going to come out. 
you also want to make sure there's no water in there and you can look inside your screen usually the dirt will be trapped on the outside you can blow through it to make sure it's clean if the air flows through it freely you don't need to clean it and it's the same for this one you can blow through here either by putting a fuel line on here or putting a clean cloth around and blowing on it yourself if the air flows through it freely it's clean this one's clean I've already done that I've checked both screens and they're good and I've checked all inside the carburetor here to make sure that it's clean it's all clean so I know that this part here is good so at this point here I'm just going to reinsert the screen over here and push it down as far as you can like that you want to make sure that it's secure in there because you don't want it getting loose and falling off so at this point here the only thing left to clean is the bottom of the carb here I'm going to spray some card cleaner and let it sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes just make sure you have enough there to soak up all the dirt and it's going to deteriorate the dirt then when you come back it's going to come out easy you can also spray some on the exterior here just make sure the dirt from around the tank here doesn't go inside where the carburetor goes. Now for the diaphragm, I'm just going to spray a bit of carb cleaner, but I'm going to wipe it off right away because I don't like leaving carb cleaner too long on diaphragms. Apparently the carb cleaner is safe for that, but it is pretty strong, so I'm not going to take a chance. So I just wiped off the small film of dust that was on there and that'll do. Car cleaner has been sitting for a while I'm just gonna clean the surrounding part where the car goes. I'm just gonna tap the fuel tank upside down some of the dirt will come out by itself. As you can see there there's a bit of film of dirt on here. I'm just gonna spray some more cleaner in there. Next you can grab a rag and a small screwdriver insert it down the hole and then work it in there until all the dirts come out you can always use your air compressor to blow out any dirt that's left in there I'm gonna blow a bit of air in there just to make sure everything's out if you do do this make sure you've got safety glasses on Now if you suspect you had water in your fuel tank and in the carburetor area just leave it out in the sun like this for a couple hours and it's going to dry off everything. You can also use methyl hydrate and rinse out the tank if you think there's still water left in there. It's going to help to clear out the water.